Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to solve a more advanced、uh, problem that's derived from one of my popular video, how to automatically hide rows based on cell values. So I have the code here,、um, and I've explained to you how to do it. So now today I'm going to take you one step further to show what if、um, the cell that we are、uh, deriving the The function from、um, is formula driven. So、um, let's come back to this is the original spreadsheet that I have for the previous video. So basically, this is a drop down. So as you select、um, different drop down value, which is not formula driven,、um, you can basically show the re、uh, relevant rows. Correct. So today,、um, and actually, I have、uh, I had this issue coming up, which is, what if the value that we are showing here is formula driven? So it can be any formula. So as you can see here, I'm actually putting one of the most easy formula here, which is、um, the value here is essentially derived from this cell C four.、Um, it only has true or false,、um, but then if We say that the value is true. Then we say like this is Canada. If it's false, then it's India. So it's a very simple formula. It can be as complex as you want, as long as it's formula driven. But the at the end of the day, it's formula driven. It's not a simple value. So now let's see、uh, if we use the previous code. What's going to happen? So <clears throat> I have、um, I have the.、Uh, Code. So this is the code that、um, we used for the previous for the previous、um, file. So let's actually just well since the layout and everything is exactly the same, let's just copy this to our、uh, this sheet, which is actually in this one file, and it's sheet one. You have to copy to this sheet that you want the function to work. So you go there.、Um, I've actually already copied it here,、um, but I I'll just copy it anyway. So this is the function that's working now.、So、this is the correct code. Let's don't worry about it. As you can see, I've made it as comment, so it's not functioning now. So this is the only part that's functioning now. So now let's save it and see what's working. So now, when I make this true or false, as you can see, the function works, the formula works, but then my hiding、um, does not work. I was supposed to have only the Indian rows here, but it's not working. So what can we do now? This is when I introduce to you the. Private sub of worksheet calculates. So the difference between the two is that in the previous one, because it's only value, we just use worksheet change,、uh, which means that as the value changes,、um, all the macro codes direction will. Just wrong, but in our case here,、um, it is actually a formula-driven value, which means that some calculation is involved. So in this case, we have to use the private sub of worksheet calculates. Okay, so now let's delete this part. We don't need it, and then now now let's. Um, try this code. So as you can see, I'm uncommenting it, so it's actually running.、Um, I will, as always, I will have this、uh, code copied in my description, so you can just copy and paste directly to,、uh, for your need.、Um, but essentially, I'm doing pretty much the same.、Um, the only change I did is that I actually、um, define my value of the range C5 as country, just to make it easier for my code. If you don't do it,、um, it's totally fine too. It's just like Your code is running probably slightly slower. In our case, it's so simple; it doesn't really matter.、Um, but then I'm basically saying that while、well, I define country as the range C5, and then I select my code country, and then all those codes are exactly the same as in the previous video. So the only change is basically here the calculate. So now let's save it, and then see how it works. So again, like we have to make this true or false selection to drive the change for our country. But then now, when you choose true, we see only the Canadian rows that we want to see, and then when we have it false, then you see only the Indian rows that you want to see. It's that simple. So you can try it. You can hide everything, and then you do this change again. It's gonna just work perfectly. 
Okay, so um, this is all that I want to share with you today. Um, I hope that you find it helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.